take a look at this chemical equation. It shows the state of substances before and after the reaction. The substances before the reaction are called reactants. The substances produced after the reactions are called products. Copper to oxide and hydrogen gas are the reactants. Copper and water are the products. There are four steps to be followed to balance a chemical equation. Step 1. Write the word equation. Then, write the correct chemical formulae for reactants and products. Next, balance the equation. To balance the equation, you need to adjust the coefficient in front of the chemical formulae. Do not change the subscripts of the formula. If you do, you are actually changing the correct formula. If no coefficient is shown, the coefficient is understood as 1. Let's see if the equation is equal or not. Count and key in the number of atoms of the elements on each side of the equation. Are the numbers of the atoms of the same elements equal? If they are, then the equation is balanced. If not, click on the step 3a button. There is one iodine atom on the left but two iodine atoms on the right. So, how are we going to make them equal? We need to change the coefficient in front of potassium iodide to 2. By doing so, we are increasing the number of potassium atoms on the right. Thus, we need to increase the number of potassium atoms to 2 on the left by changing the coefficient of potassium nitrate. Now we have increased the number of nitrogen and oxygen atom on the right. That is, nitrogen atoms have increased to 2 and oxygen atom to 6. Good, they balance nicely with the number of nitrogen and oxygen on the left. Now we have a balanced chemical equation. Finally, write the physical state symbols for the reactants and products. Try to write a balance equation for phosphoric acid reacts with natrium hydroxide to form natrium phosphate and water.